Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to talk about advanced building strategies. If you've watched my previous building tutorials, you should realize that these tricks are just combinations of building patterns that you've already learned. The first advanced building pattern combines a pyramid sidestep with 90 degree turns. I have found this pattern to be very effective when you're trying to retake high ground. As you jump to the side of a pyramid, look straight down and turbo build a floor and a ramp. Keep running forward and build two more 90s. If you're struggling to land on top of your ramp as you jump, the problem might be ping related. Turbo build has a 0.15 second delay for the first building piece, so if you have around 60 millisecond ping or higher, you might end up underneath your ramp. To prevent this, you can bind place building to your scroll wheel. This will let you avoid the turbo build delay and place both the floor and ramp faster. I mainly use this pattern against high ground opponents who I expect to continue climbing higher. But if your high ground opponent doesn't climb with you, a sidestep into 90s will actually take you a lot higher than you need to go. And for those situations where you don't need to keep climbing up, a 180 turn gives you more protection and also gives you more opportunities for aggressive edit plays. As you sidestep, look down, place a floor and a ramp, then turn 180 while turbo building walls. Place a floor as you jump and then three more ramps in front of you, finishing the pattern off with two pyramids. The ramps and pyramids prevent your opponent from blocking you. Sometimes you'll even be able to trap an enemy underneath your ramps. The next pattern is a vertical box edit. When you turtle yourself, you have lots of options. You can edit out any side of the box or ramp out the roof. With this edit, you'll be able to climb straight up. You'll often be able to trap an opponent yeah, standing on top of your roof. I see him right on top of me. We found that side angle. Look at that, beautiful. Beautiful execution of that quick little edit strategy. Let's do that again. So put yourself in a box like this with a floor and a pyramid on top. I saw that he was on the right side, which means I can make this edit right here, change that pyramid like that, trap him in, and then go for high ground. Make sure to edit through the side opposite your opponent. If your opponent is on the right side, edit through the left for a safe high ground retake. The same kind of edit can be made during your ramp rush as well. Try to edit the pyramid as fast as possible to smoothly climb higher. Next pattern is the Thuayfo Cone. As you double ramp, jump, turn to place a wall and a pyramid behind you, then turn back and keep going. Notice that the wall and pyramid extend up an extra layer above your double ramp. This can force mistakes from a high ground opponent chasing you. To disrupt high ground even more, turn and place a pyramid on a ramp, then place one more pyramid to keep double ramping. As you can see, this pattern extends two layers above your ramp and can really mess with anyone above you. The last pattern is the Connor Classic, all credit to Parallel Connor. He has contributed a ton of innovative techniques to the community. He landed up on the high ground, so I get to show off some high ground retakes here. Now we're going to reinforce this, ramp out, do some covered 90s here. Now we're going to go for the Connor Classic, as this guy continues to chase me. He probably didn't expect that play right there. We edited down on him, took him out of the game. To perform this pattern out of a double ramp, edit the top ramp, jump, confirm the edit, then place a wall to catch the ramp. If you don't place the wall, the ramp will break. This pattern is useful because high ground players usually aim here when somebody double ramps from below. By editing the top ramp and turning early, you can throw off your opponent. Practice making this edit after reinforcing your double ramp with a pyramid. After jumping, place another ramp and a pyramid. From here, you have lots of options. You can edit through, sidestep, 180, or fake it and build a 90. If you try to use all these building patterns, you should be able to win a lot more fights. You'll also be in a great position to learn every other difficult technique that's out there. I hope you guys found these techniques helpful. If you have a question, let me know. I do read all the comments. Thanks for watching, and have fun build battling.